Second Harvest Food Bank of Southeast North Carolina is celebrating its 30th anniversary this year. The food bank serves seven counties, Bladen, Cumberland, Duplin, Harnett, Hoke, Robison, and Sampson. The food bank reports that more than 200,000 individuals, or 18% of the population, are at risk of hunger within the seven county service area. The food bank operates out of a large warehouse on Deep Creek Road in Fayetteville, and Director David Griffin explains how the food bank provides nutritious food to at-risk citizens through a network of over 200 nonprofit agencies. Mr. Griffin also shares with us how volunteers are helping in the effort to feed our community. The Second Harvest Food Bank of Southeast North Carolina um, was started in 1982. We started in a small building on Hillsborough Street here in Fayetteville. It's probably about 500 square feet. And we moved here in 92, and it's like 37,000 square feet uh, of space here. Our primary mission is hunger relief, and we do that in seven counties in southeast North Carolina through Feeding America. Feeding America is a national organization probably have a hundred and or so food banks located in all 50 states in Puerto Rico, uh, distributing food to those at risk of hunger. And the food bank is also a division of Common and Community Action Program, Inc., or CCAP. First, we have that network of member agencies, which is those churches, those soup kitchens, those group homes. They are all have to be 501c3. They come down and they have to fill out an application per se. They then take that to their area, say in Robson County, say they're in Lumberton. They take it to Lumberton and they take it to those people who come to their pantry and their communities that they have food to. Um, we make sure they give that food out free of charge, no charge for the individual client receiving the necessary food. The food bank has 245, 250 member agencies uh, who come through our doors every day. Um, they report back to us. We are serving um, on monthly 20,000 households and about 102,000 individuals monthly. The Second Harvest Food Bank has some wonderful, wonderful donors. Uh, we have donors who come that might be at a local food line who gives us the grocery retail program. We have donors at Walmart and so many different donors that give us food that we might go pick up, say, in uh, Pennsylvania. Or we might go down to Florida or a Charleston or whatever to pick up food in our 18 wheeler trucks. The food bank's funding comes from a number of different places. Uh, we always seek an individual funding. Uh, um, we get funding from the state and certain programs, but that's not enough. And we always need funding every day because we're running a 37,000 square foot facility. We have this light bills, there are all kinds of transportation costs. We send our trucks out to the state, when I say Pennsylvania and places like that. Also, uh, Cumberland County gives us money as well to ensure that we are taking care of the citizens in Cumberland County um, because they are just as important as anywhere else we go, anywhere else in the nation, and they want to make sure that they are taken care of. The food bank has a many events coming up soon. Uh, the one that we're really pushing for is our Driving Our Hunger uh, Invitational Golf Tournament. It's our fourth annual. We're looking for sponsors. We're looking for golfers. If you think you're Tiger Woods, come out there and be Tiger Woods. If you're not Tiger, you're Tiger little brother, we want you too. And we all want all we can. And as we go along in the year, we have the Heart of Carolina Food Drive and things of that nature. Um, we have volunteer Saturday events. If you want to participate in that, just call down here to the food bank and we can greatly let you know what other events we got scheduled. Well, the food bank all wants everyone to understand hunger is not a problem that people go out and look to have. Uh, hunger is one that is really uh, taken away from our kids, taken away from our seniors who may be on fixed income. And so we need all the assistance we can from the general public like we had with the letter carriers food drive. We really want that assistance, 99,000 pounds of food from 25,000 pounds last year. Uh, we can't, we can't uh, say enough thank you for the, the community and we want that continued support because it, w it requires all of us to make sure no kid goes hungry on the weekend or over the summer. Well, the Second Harvest Food Bank has a, a couple of different ways that individuals can donate or corporations can donate their time um, to assist the food bank in hunger relief. You can volunteer your time, save your corporation, you have a staff, uh, your employment program. Bring them down here. We have volunteer Saturday events. We have things every day that they can do sorting, administrative work, all kinds of different realms of stuff that we can utilize their skills to help us uh, fight hunger. Uh, you can donate monetary resources. It's very big. We're trying to operate this 37,000 square foot facility to make sure we, we are getting the food to those in, in risk of a need. The Second Harvest Food Bank has we started a mobile food pantry program back in December 2010 after we received a grant 
or USDA. Um, that mobile pantry program uh, goes directly, uh, we serve in the clients uh, in the area. And we try to do that a lot in the mobile and the rural areas because a lot of rural people had a transportation issue, especially some of the seniors. And they have a transportation issue getting out to the local church and place. So we go to them. If you really want to assist and be a part of this mission of what we're trying to do of hunger relief, they just call us up here at the food bank and say, I want to help. Say, David, I want to help. Ask my staff and I will, we will gladly to make sure you are part of this thing of making sure no one goes hungry no matter who they are or what affiliation they're with.